vault. Uh, congratulations if you're actually here watching it, if you've not been bored to death by the other one, but today's a pretty big day for me because I've been carrying this shit around with me for a while now, and you've all mocked me for it, so it's time for it to go. So, without further ado, we're going to jump over to the vault and start taking out the things. Just bear in mind, I have not rehearsed this. I've not got a list here of, of what I'm going to dismantle. I'm, I'm just going to start plucking out things, and it will include my year one raid stuff. Um, because I'm going to win all this stuff back, right? Um, <laughs> okay, so first things, I think what we're going to do uh, is we're, we're going to look at some of these weapons that's in here. Now, <laughs> uh, this is the first phase of the vault. Obviously, the first item you see here is one that I don't use very often, Edeon Ally. Um, I'm actually going to hold on to this thing. The advice of one of the designers uh, said, hold on to it, uh, because we don't know what the husk of the pit quest's going to be as you might know or not know necrochasm's going to be a quest so uh doom of, doom of uh kelchis i've always said chechens um I'll hold on to that i mean we're talking about year one here yeah let me take this rifle out for you and i'll give you a little story behind some of these ones where where necessary the the epitaph 2261 is my first or was my first legendary uh, weapon that I ever got. I actually got an exotic before I got a legendary, in fairness. Uh, but this was my first ever legendary. And this rifle means a hell of a lot to me. And uh, <laughs> I've never used it since year one, but I like to look at it. But do you know what? Um, I've got to get rid of it, guys. It's sitting here with all its ridiculous amount of nodes. <laughs> it's, it's not even that great a rifle. I thought it was great at the time. It used to be able to hold six six bullets uh had field scout on it uh i think it final round yeah i remember it was a great pve sniper rifle well it was the only one i had but now um it's gonna go and there you go so i get my ascendant energy and things like that I've, I've got space for all this in case you're wondering uh shandy you've just bored us to death about economy if you cleared out your glimmer yes i have i'm ready to go <laughs> okay, so moving swiftly on uh, the next weapon here. I've got uh, Wolf Slayer's Claw. Again, another year one weapon. Um, it's got Shank Burn on it. I've, ne I've never used it. it it's going to go, guys. Um, I've kept it in here for PvP reasons, but see, see to be honest... Um, yeah, goodbye. Again, one of these weapons that we got from Prison of Elders back in the day. Uh, the Shadow of Fields is a sniper rifle with apparently incredible aim assist on it. Um, I quite like it. I think it's a cool gun, so I'm, I'm probably going to hold on to that. Praetor's Timepiece. Year 1 raid weapon. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to get another one, aren't I? Goodbye. <laughs> right. <laughs> this is awful. I hate doing this. The Swordbreaker was, to me, one of my favourite raid shotguns. Um, I think all the raid shotguns, the old raid shotguns, are fantastic. Uh, this is the ultimate uh, anti-Hallowed Knight weapon. Where is the Found Verdict, which will come to shortly, was the anti-Captain weapon. But, you know what, guys, I'm going to get another one. Goodbye. Um, <laughs> you know, I wonder if they'll have given us, ra you know, that, that radiant energy again. Um, the Found Verdict is going to go... Because, because that's why I'm making the video. Don't like doing that, but there you go. Uh, Zalus Bane, I'll keep. Agency of the Reef, I'll keep. Um, oh, no, no. I'm not dismantling that shotgun. Um, I've loved it. I've had a lot of good success with that in Crucible. And I know currently Crucible is shotguns are in the ground, but I'm not I'm not taking that gun away. I like it. It's, it's weird and it's wonderful and I'm keeping it. So fuck off. And uh, I've got a grasp of Malik. I've got Harrowed Midas Reckoning. I'll probably keep that. Um, the Villainy, really good, really good rifle uh, for Crucible. I'm not going to get rid of that. Uh, this this is hard for me. I, I love the Fate Bringer, even though I didn't use it as much as some people said I should have. But this 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 is a hard one for me at this moment. But 
yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna do it. Uh, I'm just gonna get rid of it. I need to. I can't. I can't do this anymore. Oh, and now I'm free. I can't go back and un undo that. These are Oryx raid weapons. I'm actually gonna hold on to these um, because again, I just wanna get rid of that. I don't know why I've got this cryptic dragon here. I've actually already got a cryptic dragon that does firefly somewhere. So this is just gonna go as well. Um, just while we're at it. There we go. Oh, f it, you know, it's it's actually liberating this. Um, I'll keep that because again, it's a kind of like a special weapon. Uh, Hawkmoon, I do use this weapon here. Um, I love it. I absolutely love it to death. It, it's a, a really old, 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 old weapon. The Venation Three, uh, really good for Pv PVE. Uh, had Outlaw on it. Um, uh, I love it so much. And dead orbit hand cannon, but. That's we're never going to be to be able to ascend these things. I'll never be able to use it. And in fairness, I mean it's it, it wasn't even that great in Crucible. Um, but you know what? Um, good night. I'm gonna I'm gonna gonna leave that one. To be honest, I'm all over the place here. Um, I really like her courtesy as well, so I'm gonna leave that. No one's mercy. I, I like the deal breaker, but um, I've had a god roll of a deal breaker before, and um, I didn't think it was that great, even though I quite like the weapon, so I'm just going to get rid of this one. So I'm trying to charge through this, because I know I've only got 15 minutes for a YouTube video. Uh, Trade spawn stars. Servant of Arc, so... It's actually a very good Crucible Fusion Rifle. I have used it, so I'm going to hold on to that. Uh, the Unbent Tree, I'll keep that. This is a hard one. This was probably my uh, favourite legendary weapon in the year one, was the Oversoul Edict. A fantastic weapon, and I hope to get it again. Um, no need for it in Crucible, no need for it now. Goodbye, Oversoul. Oh, well, that was sore. Um, uh, what else? <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Not the Vision. I preferred the Vision to the uh, Fatebringer. I think because I got the vision first, and I just found it more useful, but, um, yeah, fuck you, vision, I'll get you again, so that's that weapon away, <laughs> um, what next, so I've got a few kind of vague hand cannons in here, I don't know why I keep them, because, you know, the, the devil, you know, 3 no. oh, um, oh, that might be a god roll, it's got, um, range finder, hammer forged, third eye, uh, why not? I'll just keep it. So what else? We've got the Word of Crota, which was probably the better of the, the two void primaries that you could get. Um, which I actually used in Prison of Elders a while ago. So, uh, But that's going to go, because you know what, guys? Like I say, we'll get them again. Now here's a gun that's... Oh, a gun. A rocket launcher. It's very close to my heart, the hunger of crow. I, I was one of these people who didn't get a galley until quite late on. Um, I think I was like second last out of our group to, to get one. And this was the poor man's Galahorn. And it, and it, it served me well. I used it for everything. Uh, it was great. Uh, it was actually very good in Crucible. Great for the Prison of Elders. Great for the Rich. Just everything. Um, but, uh, rocket launchers, I think, have had their day. Now that we have the swords, now we have Sleeper. And now I have a Galahorn. I have no need for the hunger of Crota, especially not a year one one. I'm being brutal here, guys. I, I really am. I'm. I'm. It's like breaking up with like thirty girlfriends at once. <sighs> right. Um, a spare change. I'm going to keep because that's. Uh, plus, I'm going to keep Stranger's rifle as well. I'm never going to have a chance to get that, so I'll keep that. The devil, you know. Uh, the proud spire. Right. Brightus. You are a very good PvP sniper, but I'm not good at PvP sniping, so you can go. You can go to Legendary Weapon Heaven, or wherever these things go once they're dismantled. Um, Light of the Abyss, fantastic PvP fusion. <laughs> You're just taking up room, pal. Goodbye. I fucking hate this. I re I regret this now. I, I feel awful. Uh, okay, trials weapons and other treads upon stars. I'll 
how many trades upon stars I've got that one and I've got that one right that 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 one can go there. I don't know why I'm keeping two of these damn things I mean any year two weapons that are quite easy to get like trades upon stars I I can get these back you know so I'm I'm actually not too bothered by this let's be just checking so um yeah what's next first curse never use it but I'll keep it there I can always get rid of that and get out of the kiosk now the fang was one of these weapons I got um quite late on again i mean it just was one that eluded me and by the time i got the fang um well i, I have kind of more useful weapons in it but so I, I don't hold much emotional uh connection to the fang even though it's good uh devil's dog i'm gonna keep these devils are like stolen will does not bow that i'm keeping as infusion fuel i do need to keep some that is actually a really good crucible weapon and i have used it uh, another thousand yard stare, laughing heart. Again, I'm, I'm keeping all these these weapons because they are quite good. Plan C, pocket infinity, not getting brought forward. Ah, oh, gutted, but good to fuck about with. Uh, Genesis chain, yep, keeping that. Oh, that. I haven't I haven't brought that out of the vault in a while. Um, there's another X machina there for infusion. So I've I've got plenty of infusion for there's the infamous conspiracy theory, the one that you get from the quest. Well, I'm keeping you until I get another another one. Uh, an ill will, apparently a, a very good one, so keep that. Abric Prime, a Matador. No, I am not deleting that. I, you can fuck right off. I, that is one of the rarest weapons in the game, and I'm keeping that until I get another one. The Waltz I'm going to keep. Um, Hopscotch I'm going to keep. Clever Dragon I'm going to keep. See this. This is another. This is another gun that's shit. To be honest with you, um, I've kept this from when I went to the lighthouse. I ended up getting this weapon, um, not from the lighthouse, but on my my journey there, I got it. And you know what? It's terrible. I didn't even particularly enjoy using it on any occasion. So no, good night, goodbye. Not interested in it. It's just taking up room. Fucking summoner. Um, that's a very good gun. Inward lamp. I'm going to keep that. No time to explain. It's terrible, but it's an exotic, therefore it must be kept. Uh, Heraj D. Pretty terrible, but you know what? I'll deal with it. That's good. I like that weapon. Um, Party Crusher. I'm using that as infusion fuel. Uh, as you can see, I've not even upgraded it. Last word. Drake's Promise. Good guns. I never use as ME. Uh, never using. Uh, that's just infusion fuel. That's quite good. I'm keeping that. Patience is uh, an amazingly underused weapon. It's actually probably one of the best snipers in the game. Uh, never use that. Hopefully we'll get a buff. Very occasionally use that. Occasionally use that. Never use that, but keeping it says it's the raid. Another hopscotch pilgrim. In fact, if I've got that one, why have I got the other one? So I've got a full auto one. Oh, guys, I'm going to have to go and compare that myself. I'm, I'm, I didn't actually realise. I'll always keep my messenger because, well, it's the messenger. Aegis of the Kale. Uh, it's not bad, actually. I, I'll, I'll probably keep that. Uh, that was one. You probably noticed it's an adept version. I got it from Killing Skolas. And you know, why have you got so many uh, exotic engrams, Shandy? Well, I'm, I'm actually going to... Uh, use these once the new content comes out so i'm gonna have another video of me doing all these exotic engrams so i've got quite a few actually on other characters and i've got a load of armor as well so yeah i'm gonna do a video of me decrypting all these things and, and hopefully it should be quite good now a, a few of the guns in here you're like well okay you're changing the subject now shan is this because we <laughs> well kind of i think the atheon's epilogue is still a really good crucible weapon um, i'm gonna keep that there until i until i get it replaced of course uh, convalescence duty, yeah, great, super good advice. You all know I rave about that gun, and I pull it out from time to time. And hopefully, it will it will be used even more when the vault of glass comes back around. Queen's choice, black spindle, yep, keep that because the murmur. Hmm, yeah, I'll keep it. It's not bad in the crucible actually. Vacancy is another good weapon, so uh, the usual. In this, and I've I've actually been very brave there. I've got rid of a lot of things that I've been keeping hold of. I, I, I'm one of these. Maybe should go if I should get rid of 
one or the other. I think probably Rude Awakening is. 